Hello everybody, Neil here. Shenanigans, right. The other day we were out with Chantal. Uh, who is filming? Say hello. Hello. Okay, so um, we were out practicing for Chantal's test. We are doing a bit of a road bimble and we decided towards the end of that to go back down to the car park uh, as a last minute preparation for her full license. And um, I put it in the GPS to get the quickest route back to the Coles car park. I mean, we haven't lived in the area very long, so we're still learning our way around all the little streets and back tracks. So what happened was I followed the GPS line and it brought me down Foggo Road. And I got 150 metres down the road from the, the bitumen and ended up with this. We were at the top of this hill. And now, as you can see, that for me is intriguing. I wanted to come back with the, the Everest, the new car. And Chantal was like, no, nah, not in a million years. And I said, well, how about we have a walk and have a look and see what it's like? Because I fancy cracking, having a crack at this, well, mainly going up it on the motorbike. Now it's soft sand. I think it could be a bit of a playground. So we've decided to come along today and have a look at it. So we're going to walk up, maybe get the drone out, have a bit of footage and assess it for the potential to ride up it on the bikes or me bring a bike up and Chantal film it and see how I progress because like everybody we all get a bit fearful of um, a bit of sand until you get the hang of it but this is soft and hilly if I could get up here I can do anything it's not look it's not big red but it looks like a bit of a challenge so we're gonna have a walk up have an assess let's go up and have a look okay as you can see from that we've walked well, I don't know how I don't know where the top is so uh, we've walked maybe 100 metres up and as you can see this is this is a bit of a playground for, for the 4x4 boys and you can see how challenging it would be to go up to the left here and that'd be a bit of fun if you had a bit, a bit of a, a yield with the high suspension but obviously we've got an option to either have a crack at this or hang and go, go around here to the right we've got a bit of a, a section here now so far this looks rideable and um, higher up I can see tree roots let's have a walk up a little bit further I can see tree roots uh, across and where, where it gets a bit more gnarly. And that's where it'd be a bit tricky. You're gonna have to pick your lines. I'm looking forward to, at the moment, I'm, I'm thinking about having a crack at this on the, on the T7 or maybe the XT250. We'll see. See if we can get Chantal to bring it up. All right, so we've made it to the top. It's not as long as I suspected when I was on uh, Google Maps looking at it the other day. I'm reckoning it's probably 250 to 300 metres. It's quite steep now, but you, as I said earlier, we've got two options and both have their merits, but this is a great practice area. You can get your confidence up, picking your lines, coming up on, as I look at it on the left, as I'm coming up, it will be taking the right track, but the, se the, the left hand side, on this side, as you're coming up, soft, really soft. And I think once you get your confidence up, you could have a crack at it, you're not going to get stuck to the extent where you can't get yourself out. I came down the other day, as I said with Chantal, I had to turn round because I thought, well, I can't take Chantal down here until I know what it's about. So we're going to walk back down. Um, I tried getting the drone going, but there's obviously some calibration issue that I can't seem to solve here. And I'm running out of battery, so we're going to go down, walk down the soft side, and we'll have a look and have a bit of a nosy at... Uh, how soft it looks. I think it'd be, I don't think the right hand track coming up is going to be that difficult. But uh, I think once we've done it a couple of times, I'm going to have a crack at this, this uh, left hand track. It's soft, gnarly. We've got, come and have a look at these here. These are the issues. Bit of tree trunk. We've got some rocks here. In fact, that's wood again. That's more tree trunk, that's wood. So that'd be really slippy in the wet. So you've got to pick your line, but you can miss them. But if you're missing them, you're then going into softer sand. I'm quite excited about trying this actually. And I've got, I've got to remember one of the things, I come from Yorkshire and as a kid growing up, and I never got into it, it's the trials bike riding. And I used to go watch it. And my, my brother did the, our David did the Manx two day trial through himself right in the deep end on a TY250 Pinky. And um, 
I think he probably came last, he don't care, he did it, it was amazing. And we're in, in Yorkshire, we're surrounded by all these fantastic world-class trials bike riders. I never got into trials bike riding and I've got this mentality that everything I ride through, I've got to do it without putting my feet down. I can't dab. It's not true. I'm an adventure rider, I'm not a trials bike rider, never was. So I've got to know when I'm coming up here, I've got to have in the head that if I have to stop and put my feet down, I'm allowed to do it. If I need to stop and have a regroup and have a think, all it is is a case of just getting to the top. I'm not going to lose points by dabbing. Uh, and I think I probably would dab if I came up the left-hand side of here. And uh, rather than fall off, I prefer to stop and have a rebalance. Let's have a walk down here. This bit's really, really soft. You can imagine 220 kilos, 300 kilos with me on it, into this. On the, on the T7, this side would be, you'd have to really commit to this and you could easily end up. This is why, you, this is why it's a good idea to walk, come and have a look at this. This is why it's a good idea to walk up first. Imagine the damage you'd cause here. That's a gnarly rock. That's horrible. And if you're riding up and you fall into that, this is why it's worth walk, walking up a section first and having a nosy and seeing what you're going to be tackling yourself with. And you couldn't, Look at, look at this here, you couldn't ride up here half-arsed, you'd have to commit to it and then go straight up the middle and your front end will tuck if you're not careful. A bit too soft I think for me, personally, I don't think I'm, I'd want to bring the T7 up this section. Um, but do I give it a try because out on a ride later on in life I might find myself in a situation where I have to get up one of these hills like this. And look at this, it'd be bloody hilarious. It's, it's a bit soft, but you know, I've seen people do a lot worse, but I haven't. So with it being a local find, I'm tempted to give it a try. Option, if I can get so far and then go off to the right, this looks real. Some of the lads have been out on the four before and had a crack at this. You can see where all the tracks are and it's, might be a bit too much for, for a big heavy adventure bike. But yeah, it's good. It's a, I'm bloody quite excited about giving it a try.